All right, so in this video, we are doing one last example of how to find the equation of a tangent line. This time we are given the derivative as if we already calculated the formula for the derivative, and we're just going to use that information to write our equation of the line. Here we go. So let's suppose that some function g has a derivative. Let's say the derivative is g prime of x equals negative 3x minus 10. And just remember, this formula for the derivative, this negative 3x minus 10, it represents the slope of the tangent line for any value x that's on the graph of g. All right, so the task I'm asking you to do is to find the equation of the tangent line, that's the line tangent to the graph of g, at the point negative 2, 1. Okay, so my suggestion is going to be that you try this problem on your own. You have a point. Remember, you're going to need a slope, and we need that equation of the tangent line. So pause the video, give this one a try, and come back and we'll do it together. Okay, we're back. Let's do this one together. So we have the point. We need to just find the slope. So remember that the slope of the tangent line is given by the derivative. So the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 2 is just the derivative at negative 2. So we're going to take our formula for g prime of x, put in negative 2. We get negative 3 times negative 2 minus 10. That's 6 minus 10, which is negative 4. So this means the slope of our tangent line at negative 2 is negative 4. Then we're almost there. We have the point that's negative 2, 1, and now we have a slope. It's negative 4. So we're going to use point slope form to put this all together. I have y minus 1 equals negative 4 x minus negative 2. That's our point slope form. And now I just need to simplify so I get something that's y equals. So I'm going to rewrite those minus minus as a plus. That's x plus 2. Then I distribute the negative 4, I have negative 4x minus 8, and I'll just add that 1 over to the right hand side as well, so I have plus 1. Putting it all together, I have y equals negative 4x minus 7. Alright, so we have found that the equation of the tangent line at x equals negative 2, or at that point negative 2, 1, is given by y equals minus 4x minus 7. And that's it for this one. So this example is the final example in a series of how to find the equation of the tangent line. This will get more complicated as we learn more things about calculus, but for now, this is what we have. So thank you for joining me and I will talk to you in the next one.